Hey guys, Matt with CJ Off-Road here, and in this video, we are checking out one of the, I would say, rarest Jeep Gladiators to be available on the showroom floor, the AEV 2021 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. Now we're here at Susquehanna Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and they've had one of these in their showroom and when we stopped down, we just knew we had to check it out and show you guys, all of our viewers, what these things really are made of. This thing is an absolute monster right off the factory floor, but then AEV takes it one step further and adds on all their modifications to truly make it an off-roading machine that still has the looks and driving capabilities of a stock vehicle. Now we're going to dive into this Jeep a little bit today, check out all the features of it, and show you guys what a $75,000 Jeep Gladiator looks like right off the showroom floor. So AEV, also known as American Expedition Vehicles, is based out of Montana right here in the United States. Now what they do is they take a brand new Jeep or Gladiator and a few other different model vehicles and basically enhance their factory performance and add on all of their own goodies. Now we've known AEV from the past for creating the Brute both in the TJ and the JK, which is the first pickups available in those. Now obviously they might be a little bit upset away Jeep has built this Gladiator and pretty much made it look exactly like their Brute that they had in the past, but they really updated it and made it an extremely capable vehicle and added on a ton of their goodies here. Right on the front end, we've got probably the most going on in this entire Jeep. You can see right on the hood on this Rubicon, they've got their matching pinstripe with their AEV and the Bison logo right over there on that side. A super Super clean look and really emphasizes just how well and clean these are built. On the front, this is the first time I'm seeing this in person. It is their AEV stubby front bumper and I gotta tell you guys, so these things are even nicer in person than I have seen in photos. Now they have been a long time coming. I've been waiting for these to be released for about two years now, so it's really cool for me to be able to see one right here in person. Now you can see we've got a nice hoop that is going to protect that flat black satin grill on there and also your AEV driving lights which actually have different rubber bushings and it looks like nylon in the back to really help keep them stable when you're off on the trail. It also has a brand new Warren Xeon winch tucked nice up in there as well as your license plate mount which of course is sporting that Susquehanna Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram because that's where we're at right now. But overall guys, this thing is really clean. It matches the factory Rubicon and even sport bumpers with these small bezels here. If you copy this onto a Rubicon, you can actually see the small bulge and it even incorporates the factory lights. Now up underneath, I just noticed this, there also is a light bar up underneath that bash plate there. So also some extra lighting. That is a Baja Designs light bar in there that is wired right up to your factory auxiliary switches. You've got your built-in tow hooks here and just a really, really nice and complete front bumper. Now you've also got some foam right on here so you could put your knee on there or even step onto it if you need to climb up and grab some accessories or work in your engine bay. There's some plastic up top here built with metal in their back to reinforce it. It completely wraps around. Guys, I am super impressed by this front bumper and being able to see it and kind of put my hands on it in person is something that I've been waiting for for a long time. Go up next on the side of the Jeep here, you can see kind of tucked up in that fender well, we've got AEV's completely tuned suspension. Now what that includes is their RT5100 Bilstein shocks, as well as their factory tuned coil springs and their control arm drop brackets. Now what's nice about this entire kit is that they have it tuned for the extra weight and everything going on in the front bumper. It's pretty cool that they've taken the time to add on that weight and then tune their suspension system to match up completely to what they're offering. Now as far as wheels and tires, we've got a set of 37 inch BF Goodrich KO2 all-terrain tires wrapped around some AEV Save Gray number two wheels. So I hope I'm saying that the right way, but these things look really, really cool and they have a really nice backspacing. So if you are here in a state like Pennsylvania or somewhere that really messes with you if your tires are poking out, AEV keeps these nice and tucked and maybe a quarter inch of this top tread is actually exposed from the fender line. A really cool look there, and I think it gives it a very factory looking wheel, but with some more performance added. As far as the interior goes, AEV also tricked that out to really match the accents of the exterior. They've reupholstered the seats and added on a nice material into that center there that feels really, really extremely durable, plus gave their logo right on the headrest. They've also changed out the gauge cluster faces to add on the AEV logo and give it a much more aggressive look. But perhaps my favorite thing in this that I didn't even know was in here, and I'm gonna pull it out real quick and show you what it is. This is really, really one of the coolest things in this Jeep. If I can pull it out nice and quick. So tucked right up in the passenger side footwell is AEV's very own jack base and wheel chalk combination. It actually tucks up just like that and 
ties on with just a little quick rubber bungee that's bolted on and this thing is absolutely awesome and honestly i shouldn't be geeking about probably a hundred dollar part here but i think this is really really a good idea and i'm probably gonna have to order one for myself so overall really cool av is really trick on the inside but after this we're gonna move on to the back and close this one out now moving on to the back of this gladiator you can see that they've accentuated the back with that exact same pinstriping that was on the front i really really like the way they did that they actually took the badging off the back put the decal on and kept that flow gunning all the way around the taillights included on there you can see the aev badging on the back as well as your susquehanna automotive decal but opening this tailgate up We've got the, the spray in bed liner in there as well, but perhaps the biggest and coolest thing is that bed mounted tire carrier. Now I think these are capable of running up to a 40 inch spare tire and it really is a nice way to get it up nice and tucked out of the way. And personally, I think it really makes this thing look like a completed off overland vehicle. Honestly, I might have to look into that piece and throw it on my personal Gladiator because I absolutely love it. It gives you provisions for antennas as well as carrying a nice wheel and tire in the bed. But overall guys, that is pretty much everything on this AEV Jeep Gladiator. We basically walked into the showroom today and saw it and knew that we had to do something with it and show you guys exactly what these things are made of. I'm really, really impressed to see one in person. I haven't been able to do so yet. So this is the first time for me and hopefully if it's your first time checking out our page, you like this kind of content because we always show the most unique and cool vehicles that you can purchase. Now here at CJ Pony Parts, you can buy all sorts of parts to modify your Jeep, get it nice and lifted and get it looking as cool as this one. Definitely check out my Gladiator build where we build mine up and add on all sorts of parts that can help you build it up and really customize it to make it your own. Until next time though guys, I really wanna give a huge shout out to Susquehanna Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram for allowing us to take the time to show us this Jeep and get it in their studio and film it for our channel. Now if you wanna check out more videos like this, subscribe to our page. I'll see you next time.